to this week's video where today I'm going to show you guys how to make some fun little Disney DIYs. I will be showing you guys how to make a Winnie the Pooh honey pot, Lilo's dress from Lilo and Stitch, but as a t-shirt, a Monsters Inc. scream extractor portable charger, and the Eat Me cookies from Alice in Wonderland, but as magnets. I just want to keep this intro short and sweet, so how about we just move right on into the DIY portion of this video. For this DIY, all you are going to need is a flower pot, yellow acrylic paint, yellow puffy paint, which is optional, black acrylic paint, and a paintbrush. Alright, so our first DIY is the Winnie the Pooh honey pot, and the first step is to paint the inside of the pot yellow. Once you are done painting the inside, we are going to paint the trim of the pot and also start painting a little bit of the outside to make it look like honey is dripping from the pot. And you can make the drips look however you want. I just did it freehand and painted it however I wanted. Now we are going to write the word honey on the pot and when you write this, you can also make the end backwards just to make it feel a little more Winnie the Pooh. And after I wrote it once, I went back and did an even thicker outline. So this last step is optional, but I just took some 3D paint or also known as puffy paint and went over the drips to make it look a little more three-dimensional, like honey is actually dripping from the pot. And after that, you are finished and have your own Winnie the Pooh honey pot, and you can use it for whatever to plant stuff or even use it as a pencil holder to just put pens or markers or whatever you want in there. And I actually gave this to my tita because her birthday was coming up and she loves to garden. So we put a flower in there and she really liked it. And she loves Winnie the Pooh. That is probably one of her favorite Disney characters. this DIY, I will be showing you guys how to make Lilo's dress into a t-shirt. So all you are going to need is a red t-shirt, white fabric paint, a stencil of the leaf which I will link in the description box for you guys to print out, a pencil, and a paintbrush. In this first step, all you're going to do is lay the t-shirt on the ground or on a table and start planning out how many leaves you are going to put on the shirt. Try scattering them around and spreading them a little bit apart. Then you will begin to trace. Next, you are going to start painting over where you drew, and I forgot to do this in the video, but make sure you put a piece of cardboard in between the shirt because the paint will seep through. And I'm not gonna lie, but this is going to take you a while to paint. And then here comes the hard part, waiting. I let the shirt dry overnight just to make sure that everything is dry in the morning, and it worked. And after all that long time waiting, you have a replica of Lilo's dress but as a t-shirt. And I will definitely be wearing this to Disneyland or on any regular day. I mean, come on. to make this scream extractor portable charger all you are going to need is a round portable charger which i got mine from amazon for about ten dollars a decal of the scream extractor which i will put in the description box for you guys to print out mod podge glue scissors tape and a paintbrush <laughs> 
All right, story time. I'm gonna tell you guys how I got the idea to make this DIY. And I'm just gonna use memes to explain this story. I didn't draw these, I just got these from the internet. So here we go. So one day I was just going through Amazon trying to see what cool stuff I could find. And for some random reason, Monsters Inc. pops up in my head and I'm just thinking, what if the Scream Extractor existed in real life? That would be so cool. And so I looked it up on Amazon and this is what I found. And my first thought when I saw this was, oh my gosh, I have to get this. So just when I was about to add this to my cart, I just checked one of the most major details before buying something online, the price. And you know, I was thinking it'd probably be around like $20 or something like that, but $70? Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. $69.98? <laughs> so long story short, I decided to make my own with whatever I had at home. Okay, now back to the DIY. To make this scream extractor, you are going to need this decal, which is linked in my description box. And before we cut it out, we are going to put a layer of Mod Podge right over the decal. Then you will have to wait a couple of minutes for it to dry. Once it's finished drying, you are going to start measuring the decal against the portable charger to see what extra stuff needs to be cut off from the decal. And once you have finished cutting it to the size of the charger, you are going to start taping it around. And I also put tape behind the decal so that way it wouldn't slip off the charger. There you have it, a Monsters Inc. Scream Extractor portable charger that didn't cost you 70 bucks. For this Dingle Hopper DIY, all you are going to need is a fork. And that's pretty much it. I'm obviously kidding, so on to the next DIY. For this last DIY, you are going to need oven baked clay, acrylic and puffy paint of any color you want, magnets, a hot glue gun, a paintbrush, and sculpting tools are optional. To make these cookie magnets, we are going to start by flattening the clay and you can just make whatever shapes you want and you can also use sculpting tools if needed. And once you are done with that, we are going to bake the clay in the oven. Mine took about 15 minutes to bake, but it depends on the clay that you buy. Then after they are done cooling down, you are going to start decorating the cookies by painting them with acrylic and pop-up paint. I decided to at least make one of the cookies look like the ones from the movie, so this one that says eat me is going to be light blue with red pop-up paint. But the rest I'm just going to have fun with and make them however I want. And I forgot to film this part, but the last step is to glue the magnets to the back of the cookies. So just grab your hot glue gun and do that. And there you have it, Alice in Wonderland Eat Me Cookie Magnets. Just make sure you don't really eat them, they're just for decoration. And all that's left is to put them on your refrigerator. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button to be notified when I upload a video. And let me know if you guys tried any of these DIYs in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. $70?